Go ahead, Jungle, Will. The film is apparently based on the movie which came out in 1979. Yeah. So what does make your story relevant in 2017? If we'd have made a remake of it, it wouldn't have done, but we did. Mm -hmm. we, we made a reimagination of it. And it's a completely different story. And the basic thing about it is, is the motivation for the robbery. They did it for fun. We didn't do it for fun. We did it to survive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what's different. And, and so and, and the rules and regulations that, that we did it for are, if you look at the news politically, prevalent now. It is a brilliant comedy, but uh, for me it felt like it's a story about friendship as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but very, very much so. It's also a story about family. I mean, one of my favourite mm -hmm. scenes is taking my granddaughter to school, you know. That wasn't funny, it was, it was touching, you know. It and is the, really touching. And I think it's great that a comedy about family has that in it, you know. Mm. Yeah. How many films did you guys make together? I counted six. Six, yeah, six. You're right. You're right. You counted must right. know each other pretty well. Yes, we do. Did yeah. that help playing lifelong friends on set? No. No? I don't think so. No. I mean, Why not? It, well, because uh, it, you have a script and then you have a, an, an actor to play against, or play, not against is not the right word, to play opposite. Uh, so it wouldn't matter if we had never, I know it worked from, yeah, for years, yeah, yeah. And years and years and years and years mm -hmm. and uh, that informs me as an actor about who he is as an actor. So doing the roles are just as easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But even if we'd never met each other and hated the sight of each other, we would have to be skilled enough for you to think that we loved each other and we'd known each other for years. Yeah. That's what's called acting. Well, that, yeah. Films like The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel and its remake confirmed that you don't necessarily need flocks of teenage stars to fill in the cinemas. Do you think your film would confirm that uh, shift in the audience's tastes? I think it, conf it confirms a shift in the audience's age. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know, well, I don't think there's a shift in the audience's taste in no. the situation. What we're experiencing is the fact that baby boomers are no longer babies. Mm -hmm. They're older people. So there was this really large segment of, of society that uh, this age group speaks to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Am I yeah, I, I yeah. sound discombobulated to me. No, it, no, but no, it, 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 it's, it's true. It, yeah. um, what happened was, I, I think really with the, uh, the, the uh, what's the name of that hotel, the Indian Hotel, uh, the, the um, Exotic Marigold. Hotel. Yeah, yeah, well, I that's think what that, you just mentioned. Yeah, that, that's, that's yeah. what. What they suddenly they did an investigation after that took 150 million, and then we <laughs> what happened there, and they found that. Older people were fed up with sitting watching television, mm -hmm. but nobody was making a movie for them to go and see. They didn't want to go and see Spider-Man 4. You understand what I'm saying, or yeah, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. And there were no films out there for them to see, and now there are, including this one. I thought Christopher Lloyd's character was uh, very funny, but absolutely bonkers at the same time. Yep. And oh, if yeah. I want to live up to 70, 80, 90 or beyond and stay sharp and active as you are, gentlemen, mm. what should I do more? What should I do less? <laughs> stay <laughs> active for, for one thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, this thing of um, uh, dementia, senility, Alzheimer's, I, I, I have in the back of my mind that is inactivity. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that is at the root of a lot of that. You know, uh, if you're active, you play golf, you play basketball, you have a reason, you have a an activity that forces your mm -hmm. blood to <laughs> flow, oxygenate, oxygenates your brain. Uh, so never you, retire, right? Yeah. Don't, oh, move, no, move, don't move, retire. Move, don't retire. The movies yeah. retire you. Uh, unless you do something that is really physically hard labor. If I was a coal miner, I'd retire. Yeah. <laughs> right. As soon as I could. As soon as you could. Yeah.